Hey everybody, and welcome to the D&D Podcast. Today, I'll be talking about the Warlock. Now, the Warlock has always been interesting to me, mainly because I barely understand it myself, and I am probably very unqualified to review this class in particular. But I will do my best to describe it the best I can. Now, the Warlock, they their spells, unlike, say, the wizard and the sorcerer only go up to 5th level, although they get things called uh, Eldritch Invocations. I should probably preface that a warlock is usually you've made a deal with either a demon or a genie or a fairy or something otherworldly, something very powerful that has the ability to bestow magic upon you but usually not a deity, because then you usually are a paladin or a cleric. So, a warlock. The big appeal to this class is Eldritch Blast, the most powerful cantrip in the game. Off the top of my head, I, I'm trying to remember if it does 1d10 or 1d12 damage, but it's the most powerful in the game, and uh, it's just amazing. I I love it. (laughs) Though there are some feats where you can choose a cantrip from a different class, which everyone chooses Eldritch Blast. Well, I mean, unless you are a warlock, then usually they choose something like Druid druid Craft, or if they don't already know it, Prestidigitation, something like that. Now, The subclass for the Warlock, like a lot of classes, really makes what you are, what you can do, what you can't do. And I am not a hundred, I'm not well versed on them. I know you could, there's the Pact of the Genie, the Fiend, the Otherworldly Patrons, there's there's one more I, I know of that I can't think of off the top of my head, but Basically, you can make a pact with Carcius, or however his name is pronounced, the dude that made the spell plague. Oh, I may make a video about what the spell plague is if if people want me to do lore videos, or if I just decide I want to one day. Though I'm sure a lot of people out there will explain it a lot better than me. <laughs> anyway, so warlocks. They get pact magic which can be really interesting, but they also get Eldritch Invocations, which a lot of it, basically they're like the, they're a lot like the Sorcerer's Mega Magic where you get to choose a couple, and then later on you get to choose more. And they enhance your spells, which is very interesting, like Agonizing Blast. It, like So when you cast Eldritch Blast, you add your Charisma modifier to the damage. Which, as a Warlock, I hope you have a high Charisma. Because <laughs> I believe you cast with Charisma. But there are so many Eldritch Invocations. Like, there's a lot more than there are Mega Magic, but usually they improve one spell. Like... Uh, well, I know, they improve Eldritch Blast, but I believe one improves the spell Invisibility. Though you have to be, like, level 15 for that to happen. I can't remember what it's called, but basically you cast Invisibility without expending a spell slot. That's very cool. You can keep that spell slot. (laughs) And, yeah, there's... After... But besides that, it all really comes down to your Pact. In your Pact Magic, there's like Pact of the Blade, Pact of the Chain, Pact of the Tome, and I can't think of the other one for the that Spell Plague dude for the life of me. I, I'm not sure why. I It'll never come to me until probably two weeks from now when I'm thinking about other stuff. But overall, uh, the the uh, the Pact Magic is very unique, but the Eldritch Invocations are what really make this class unique. You do know quite a few spells, although they spells work kind of weird. 
with the warlock. I, I'm not even sure how to accurately explain this without just going into the player's handbook and reading it, and which I won't do. <laughs> but really it's where the invocations are that make it really good and really powerful. And I personally, I'm not sure I can recommend this class unless you build it really well. Like, I, I probably could not build a good warlock because I'm, I'm not even sure what, how I would do it. <laughs> well, I mean, I know how I would do it. I would do a lot of research and find out what I wanted, but I'm not exactly sure what I would even want from a warlock. And so overall, I personally can't recommend it because if you're looking for a good spellcaster, I would go for more the wizard or the druid, even the paladin sometimes, because that can only go up to fifth level with spells too. But it can be a very good class if you make it right, like like pretty much any class. Though the complexity and the uh, having to do everything a certain way to even make it a viable class, like to me that holds it back from a recommendation. But that is my personal opinion on the Warlock. I do... well, I, I actually don't think it scales too well because you're not really getting well that's not true because of the pack it, it scales okay but you don't start out very powerful and you don't end very powerful either so unless you just go for a certain build you go all out on it and you do it well Besides, unless you do that, I, I just can't recommend this class. But that's just my opinion. You know, for all I know, you out there may be an expert warlock player. You may be able to make it perfectly. And hey, you're a better player than I am, <laughs> at least when it comes to warlock. And I, that's, that's about all I have to say about the warlock. That's my opinion. And. If you liked this video, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell, and I hope you all have a good rest of the day. Till next time, roll on.